we decided to do this one. This is actually very interesting because this is one of the areas where you and I kind of differ. As, as similar as we are in our cooking, in the way that we do things, in the way that we think. Um, this one, I am always traditional. I do the same one every year, it's tradition. And I think if I ever decided to change, there might be an uprising or a civil war within the middle mass McGee clan. Right. So you, on the other hand, have a tendency to love to play with this particular dish. And so each year, I think yours kind of depends on how you're preparing the other dishes or what the sides might be or kind of what you're in the mood for. So why don't you share with everyone what we're going to be doing this week? Well, we're doing a Thanksgiving themed uh, side dish uh, stuffing or dressing, whatever you want. Some people call it stuffing, some people call it dressing. It's stuffing when you stuff the bird or the poultry, whatever you're stuffing with it. And it's a dressing when you cook it in the pan and don't stuff. So I always do dressing. I don't really like my foods shoved in a bird's orifice. I do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you love the stuff. I'm not the stuff. I, I, there's, something about, stuff. there's something about that. There's also like, I can't eat, like, I can't eat the meat off the bone. Like I have to, I have to peel it off. Like I can't eat it. Uh, off. Uh, like, that sounds like Jason Michael Casey. Yeah. I knew yes. that kid and I had a lot in common. He has kids the thing about son. bones in his food. <laughs> yeah. Kids, my son. Okay, um, so yes, we are doing we are doing dressing stuffing. Dressing. We are doing dressing, uh, although I am cooking along with it because I couldn't just cook stuffing and serve it to my husband for dinner. My boys, yes, they just grab a fork in the pan and go off into their room and, and eat. But um, so I'm making actually some just some grilled chicken and some veggies to go with my um, my dressing traditional dressing side dish. What, are you making anything in addition? Well, we picked up a rotisserie already cooked chicken. Sweet Jesus. I'm okay. <laughs> vegetable as well. And then I'm going to make the dressing to go along with it. So we're both having chicken dressing and a vegetable. That's yeah. Fabulous. What's your vegetable? I haven't decided yet. What yours? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Broccoli. Uh, we've either got bro we've got some broccoli in here. We've got some baby limas, which I was thinking about maybe mm -hmm. doing some baby limas, um, but we'll see. So yeah, so I've actually got um, mine started over here on the on the stove top. I've got to go stir that around. So let's waste no more time. Let's get at it. Let's get at it. All right. I'll see you back here in a little bit. See you soon. Love. Love to you. Sissy. Who put that dog bowl there? I love my sissy. Oh, sing to me, sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I am sauteing some, mush, uh, some onions here in a half a cup of butter. Melted. And I have one large onion chopped up. I also have some, uh, this is mushroom and wild rice uh, stuff dressing. So I have oyster mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms. I was deciding uh, what my sister's gonna make. And I think I know she's gonna make sausage apple dressing because that's the traditional one that my mom used to make. And um, she's right. I do make different things all the time. I didn't used to like mushrooms. However, I've grown to really appreciate them now. And I've been wanting to make something like this for a while. Um, so I'm doing a wild rice mushroom dressing. Hello. So I need to uh, chop three cups of mushrooms. So I have, again, the um, oyster mushrooms and the shiitakes. So I'm just going to slice them up. 
I'm also adding wild rice that I already cooked. It was the one they used to call uncle so-and-so's rice, but they took away the uncle part. I have chopped pecans. I have four cups of cubed stuffing mix. And I've also got some sage, fresh sage and fresh thyme. It smells so good. So Howdy. Welcome to Dish with Sissy. We are going to get some traditional Thanksgiving stuffing going tonight, which is very exciting because rarely do I make this anytime other than Thanksgiving. Again, there's no rule that says I can't, I just don't. So the husband's gonna get an extra treat because I'm gonna make it tonight. Um, and then we'll have it again in just a few days for Thanksgiving. So my traditional stuffing actually comes from my mom's recipe. And it is one that since the first time we had it, um, we, we look no more. It is the perfect dressing for Thanksgiving. It is sausage and apple dressing or stuffing if you're gonna stuff the bird, but it's dressing because I don't stuff the bird. Um, so I've got some sage breakfast sausages over here cooking. I have some cubed, already done cubed um, stuffing cubes. I have some broth. We're gonna throw in some onions and celery, which I've already chopped. I have two apples that I like to use. Again, I like to switch up the flavor. So I've got one tart and one sweet. We've got a Red Delicious and a Granny Smith. I'm gonna core, peel, and chop these. And then we're just gonna put everything together, pop it in the oven. I've got the onions and the garlic are all sauteed. Um, it calls to add in three cups of mushrooms. I chopped them up, roughly chopped. I took the stems off, wiped them off. Um, I do like the flavor of mushrooms, but I don't really care for the texture. So I chopped them pretty small. So I'm putting them in here with the onions and garlic. And I'm just going to saute them for two or three minutes. And then I'm going to add, I've got in here the, the cubed stuffing mix and the wild rice that's pre-cooked. Um, I'm gonna cook down these mushrooms. I'm gonna add in the broth, some salt and pepper, and the sage and the thyme. I chopped the sage up pretty small, it's fresh sage, and I used my mortar and pestle to crush the thyme. Okay, so I have the herbs mixed in with the onions and the mushrooms and the garlic. And it says to stir in one cup of broth. Um, if I had a really good white wine, I would probably do half wine and half um, chicken broth is what I'm using. So I'm just using chicken broth tonight. I'm trying to make things easy on myself here. The chicken is smelling really good. I've got the rice mixed in with the cube stuffings. I'm just going to mix this up in here and let it simmer for just a minute or so. Hey, so I have my sausage that has finished cooking and I just tossed in one cup of onion and one cup of celery. And I'm going to saute those in some butter so they're um, a little bit tender but still crisp because they're gonna to continue to cook when I put this dish in the oven. And I'm also chopping up my apples, one Granny Smith, one Red Delicious. I do like to keep the pieces kind of big so I dice them, I don't do them real fine because I love to taste that apple in every bite of the stuffing. Uh, the stuffing cubes, the wild rice and the chopped pecans with this, uh, stir in this mushroom mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh boy, it smells so good, it smells so good. Doesn't it, Pearl? <laughs> Some people like a crispier top dressing. Um, I like both, I like my 
stuffing from the turkey. So I always like to stuff the turkey. Um, but then I put some on the side because I know there are people who don't like it from the turkey. Um, I think it has more flavor. So I'm going to put this in a buttered um, casserole. It's going to bake for about 40 minutes on 325. Hey, we're back making the traditional mag mid traditional sausage and apple stuffing or dressing that we have with our Thanksgiving every year since my oldest was a baby and then even before that. So it's been a very long time. And this is one of the dishes that if I didn't make it, there would be, there would be a riot. Somebody would want questions answered and <laughs> want to know what exactly was the cause of me not making this. So every year um, I make the same traditional sausage apple stuffing, which is just so easy. The real prep is, of course, you have to brown some sausage. This is some sage breakfast sausage. I love the sage and the earthiness that it brings out. I have two chopped apples here, and I have some um, onion and celery, one cup of each, that I have sauteed in some butter. And um, they're still a little bit crisp because they're going to continue cooking when I put all this together, but that's pretty much it. I've got one package of cubed stuffing that's already been done. You find it in the bread aisle. I have two cups, a little bit more than two cups of chicken broth, and we're going to put that in last because there's, um, I want to make sure that this isn't too liquid. Now, let's start putting this together. We have one package of cubed breadcrumbs. I'm going to toss in the sausage that has been thoroughly cooked. We've got our apples, and I'm feeling I might need a bigger bowl for this in order to mix it up. So now we're talking. Okay, I got a bowl that's going to contain this stuffing. I've got uh, four tablespoons of melted butter. Got some seasoning here. I've got some salt. Got a tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of white ground pepper, and a tablespoon of black ground pepper. We're going to add the sauteed onions and celery. Yum. And I'm going to mix this up and see how wet it is before I start adding chicken broth. Okay, I'm gonna start with about a cup of chicken broth. It's gonna need a little bit more. I'm gonna add another half a cup, a little bit more than a half a cup. which I think is going to do it. So I've used just under two cups of chicken broth. If you like your stuffing a little bit wetter or more moist, then certainly go ahead and use a little bit more of the broth. But this actually looks pretty good. We're going to get this in the pan, which I'm just using a foil pan. Now this is ready to go into the oven. Uh, the oven is preheated to 350. We're gonna toss this in for about 30 minutes then we'll check on it and see how it's doing. So what you got going there? No, well, I wanna see what you have there because it looks like you bought some quick do it stuff and it looks like, again, that you've been sitting in the kitchen cooking all day. What you got? Exactly, I got my little rotisserie chicken. And I made some broccoli and, of course, the wild rice mushroom stuffing. Okay. Yeah, that looks amazing. Wild rice and mushroom. Dressing. Now, did you use regular, um, regular crumbs or did you use cornbread? I used a regular crumbs. 
bread regular bread crumbs. So and so is boxed um, yeah. her seasoned yep. cube. I use bag too. I use the yeah. cubed and I use sage, sage sausage because it's got that earthy flavor to it. Yes. Um, two apples, one Granny Smith and one Red Delicious because you get the sweet and the tart. Um, about a cup I think of- we're gonna make that. Sorry. About a cup of diced onion, about a cup of diced celery. Um, I used about, well, in making it, I used just under two cups of chicken broth. But then when it was cooking, I added some more, just poured some over it while it was cooking. Um, because I don't like it too dry, but I also don't like it too wet. So to me, the stuffing has to be just right. So again, it's a dish that's easy to make, but there's some technique to it to make sure that it comes out the way you want it to. I haven't tried it yet. Have you tried yours? I am tasting the chicken right now, but the stuffing is really, it smells so good. So I've got some apple, I've got some stuffing, and I've got a big hunk of mm -hmm. sausage on here. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. I don't know why I don't make this more often. Like once a year, that's it. Right. It shouldn't be just once a year. Although that adds to the intrigue of it, right? It does. It, 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 the excitement of it all. I'm waiting for the boys to call because I'm sure they sense the disturbance in the force that I've made this dish and it's not the holidays yet. <laughs> this is really good. I'm sure I never it is. made this before. And uh, like I said in my videos, I didn't used to like mushrooms, but now I really like them. I love the flavor. I love the flavor of mushrooms. I'm not a, I don't like the texture so much. Right. So I like to cook with mushrooms. And if I do, I usually dice them very small so I don't have to taste the texture, but I do love the flavor. Well, I'll just tell you that by the time you bake it, they cook down, so it sort of blends in. And this also has pecans in it. Oh, yum. All right. Well, really good. I'm going to serve up dinner, pour a glass of wine, and call the day good. I can't wait till we can do a Thanksgiving together. That's going to be wonderful. Get your butt over here. <laughs> <laughs>